Greetings and welcome to The Home Slice. This is a standard intro if you already know what's up with my 40 millimeter manila rope testing, the Andy rope test, then you can skip to this time listed on screen. This is where the actual edge test begins. If you haven't been here before, then you've caught me in the middle of a testing series where I'm taking Victorinox knives because they're simple steel that's mainly just steel. There's not a bunch of extra alloys and carbide things going on in them. And I'm testing what different sharpening stones do to them. I'm testing fine, medium, and coarse stones individually. Then I'm taking the best from those and I'm making what's called a dual grit edge. If you're new to the channel, a dual grit edge is where you sharpen one side coarse or medium and the other side of the edge you sharpen fine. It has some really interesting characteristics. Usually it creates an, an aggressive edge that lasts longer than it normally would with either coarse or fine, with some exceptions, which we're testing to find out. Anyway, my test consists of, I've got a little goofy rig that I slice through a one centimeter thick sisal rope and it's on a 45 degree wedge. It's intended to transfer that force down. And then I measure how many kilograms of pressure it took to slice through the rope while holding the rope vertical. That's intended to take forward motion and quantify how much pressure it took to slice through. This gives you some rough idea of edge aggression. The next test is to cut through a 40 millimeter thick manila rope. And then I test on a best machine tester to test how keen and nice the edge stayed. I do that until it's over 400 grams on the best tester, checking with microscope and checking to see when it loses shaving capability in between tests. After three, I will hammer the edge into a pine piano leg, and that's just to see if any of the edges break on impact. There are certain sharpening methods I've found that create an edge that's not as robust to impact tasks. And I wanna kinda of weed those out because for a working edge, I want it to be reasonably durable. Anyway, that's what we're testing for today. In just a second, we'll skip right over to the test footage and I will let you know what the finishing stone that we're actually testing was. What's up guys? Today we're testing the Japanese natural stone that my friend Jason gave to me in the Andy Rope tests. Now, this came off with no stropping at 84 grams best, which is an excellent result and very, very, very good deburring off the stone. Uh, I've tried it since then, and it doesn't always, I, I don't always get that consistent of a result, but this was a very good keen edge. I've frozen the screen here at 2.8 kg, which is just around about 800 grams once you subtract the weight of the rig. Now I bought some new Victorinox knives for this testing in general and you can see this one was sharpened at a little bit less than 17 degrees because I found out when I put it under the scope that I had actually put a micro bevel on the factory angle and this overall thinned out edge may have played into the best readings being so good but this Japanese natural stone has created an edge that looks pretty good you can kind of see in the microscope if there's a lot of reflection that's indicative of bending however you can see that we have a similar result to the other Japanese water stones in that the first reading off of the first Andy cut has lost much of that keenness the Japanese natural stone did leave a fairly aggressive feeling edge, and when I retested it hit 373, and so I continued the test on. This one was right on the line, but although it was over 400, it was surprisingly aggressive. So I continued for a third pass with the Japanese natural stone, and at this point in the test, it began to really lose that aggression. I struggled to get through the last of the fibers. After pass number three, we have our third confirmed reading above 400 grams, which stops us on the Andy test. It's very difficult to initiate a cut in this follow-up aggression test, and I sort of slip into the rope, but then run out of edge here with a max reading of 4.3 kilos. So I try to do a second attempt and apply a little bit more pressure, but it is telling to have to go two strokes through the rope and it doesn't exactly line up with the other numbers. I've frozen it there at 9.9 .9 so that you can see what the maximum reading it hits is. 
on review of the footage. My overall conclusion with this edge is that it did have the best initial keenness, but it lost aggression most dramatically throughout the testing of really any of the stones that I have tested so far. Now, I don't think that this is indicative that Japanese natural stones are incapable of producing good edges. I think quite the opposite is the case, but I think that it is indicative that you do need some level of stropping or cleanup to prevent this sudden loss of aggression. If any of you are proficient at creating great edges with a Japanese natural stone, this is my first attempt and so, although the best number initially was good, uh, reach out to me in the comments, please. I need some help figuring out how to strop this thing so that it doesn't round over like the other Japanese water stones that I've tried. Our durability measurement here is pretty average. The stones that produce a problem are somewhere in the realm of 60 to 80 grams. The ones that are really good, you don't see any loss or it's just like 10 or 15 grams. And so this 37 gram reading is not bad, but it's also not the best that we've seen. Edge doesn't look terrible after the impact. So sorry that it's shaky. I hadn't figured out ways to isolate my movement at this point. If you wanna see my last test, I'll put it up on screen now. For the rest of you, I'll say peace out from the Home Slice. Take care.